you know what I'm really afraid of? I'm afraid that when I get to heaven, God will flash up on the screen all the things that I did for him. And then he'll flash up on another screen all the things that I could have done with the gifts and the talents and the dreams he put in me. And what I did will dim in comparison to what I could have done. This is what wakes me up every morning to know there is a gift on the inside of me. There is a gift on the inside of you. And we are waiting to see you awaken to the wonder of what God has put on the inside of you. You have got to stir up what God has put on the inside of you. This is not the time for the church to fall back. This is not the time for the church to pull back. This is the time for the church to arise, for the leaders of, in the house of God to understand the purposes of God, to understand the plans of God, to be full of the courage of God and to say, we are well able to go and take the land. We are well able to lead our people in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the despondency, in the midst of confusion. It is the people of God that ought to be arising. God to be God that is a lot bigger than any of us. That's what we need. A bunch of leaders that believe that God is still God. Come on, we got salvation. We got liberation. We got freedom. We got deliverance. We got hope. We got joy. We got everything we need. We should be the most wonderful people in all the world. The resurrection of Jesus should keep us wide awake every single day. We should be the most wonderful, the most positive, the most into, the most students of, of any group in the whole world. If you allow wonder to shut down in you, you will, without ever meaning to, you will begin to shut down wonder in the people around you. God, give us some leaders who don't quit and say, I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on chasing after the purpose and the assignment that God has placed on my life.